Okay, we have to another integral. This one's from the MIT integration, B2017, number nine. We have the integral of one over x times x to the 10th plus one dx. Okay, for this one here, I definitely don't want to multiply in this x because working with x to the 11th plus x isn't that great. So instead, I think what I want to do is bring this into the numerator. But before I do that, I think what I also want to do is let's factor this. I can factor out x to the 10th and write this as x to the 10th plus one times x to the minus 10th. And so when we do this, x times x to the 10th is an x to the 11th. I'll bring those together into the numerator. So we'll have this as x to the minus 11 in the numerator. And we'll just have this one plus x minus 10. But doing it like this, this is in pretty good shape for a u substitution because we can make the whole thing here our u. So I'll set u equal to one plus x minus 10. Take a derivative on it, derivative of one zero derivative here is going to be minus 10 x minus 11 dx. So in order to make the whole numerator the du value, let's just multiply in minus 10 here, and then I'll multiply by minus 1 over 10 in front, just so I'm not changing it, or multiplying by 1. Doing the substitution, still, we'll still have this minus 1 over 10 in front. This is going to be, this here's our du, so this is going to become just du over u. So we'll just go ahead and integrate this. We have minus one over 10. This is gonna become natural log absolute value of u. Then I'll go ahead and back substitute it. And when I do this, notice that this right here is always gonna be positive just because we have an even power on the x. So I'll drop the absolute value when I do this. And also for x to the minus 10, let's rewrite this as one over x to the 10. And if this were really the integration be right now, I would just leave it like this because time's a factor and they'll take the answer in basically any form. But for a video, let's try to clean it up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is let's get a common denominator. We'll write it as x to the 10 over x to the 10 for that one right there. Then putting this together with the common denominator, we have minus one over 10. Now we'll have this as natural log x to the 10 plus one over x to the 10, but then let's break this up with log properties, turning it into subtraction. So we'll have this minus one over 10, natural log x 10 plus one. And then for this, we'll have this as minus natural log x to the 10, but minus times minus is gonna be plus one over 10, natural log x to the 10. But with log properties, we can take this 10 over here in front, but then we have one over 10. So that's gonna just cancel with this and leave a natural log x. And so let me just make some space for a final solution here. So cleaning this up, we'll do this part first. We'll have just natural log x minus one over 10. Here, I'll write the whole thing over 10. So I'll write it as natural log x to the 10 plus one over 10, add a plus C on there, and that's it. Okay, there you go, good one from MIT 2017. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.